Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a hologram video using Keynote on your iPad. The first thing that you'll want to do is use the camera to record the video with a black background preferably and save it to your camera roll which you can see that I've done here. Next we'll open up the Keynote app and you can definitely start with a blank presentation template. Um, I encourage you to use the standard sized black background theme. However, with our students, we did use a template. So you can see in this example from Taya that it has that black background slide already with placeholders for the, the video to be put in and rotated around four times. Um, you can see that Taya has already done that with her Telegami example here, and she used this very template. Now I encourage the students to copy that slide to keep the original intact and then just paste it. And now remember, these are simply guides, so I still do have to add my video from my camera roll. There it is, and I'll go ahead and use that. And just try to match the size of the placeholder with the size of your video, realizing you're going to have to fit four of them in there back to back with little overlap. Um, this video would have turned out better had I had a darker black background so that it blended in with the black background of the slide. That's why sometimes creating them in an iPad app like Telegami, Explain Everything, or Puppet Pals is even better. Um, and also, the iPad camera that I filmed with is in that widescreen format, so it's a little bit harder to put them in the shape of a square. But I think this will work. There'll be a little bit of overlap but it shouldn't be a problem. So once you get one video about the size that you think you need it, then copy and duplicate it. If you duplicate it ahead of that, then you'll run the risk of having different sized videos and it won't make the hologram match up quite perfectly. So since I've copied this video, then I'll just paste it three times. And to rotate a video on Keynote for the iPad, you literally just take your two fingers and twist the video trying to get the, the perfect dimensions. Here's the 90 degrees. Like I said, I can have a little overlap. As long as my arms don't you know, cross over into that area, it should be fine. If I happen to accidentally resize while I'm rotating, then I would just do a quick undo. I'd also recommend that you use the guides, those yellow lines that pop up in Keynote, to make sure that you have things lined up correctly. So there I can get a guide to show that it's all centered on one axis line. Okay, now if I were to hit play right now, what I would have is four independently playing videos. And I don't want that, so I need to animate this slide in order to get them all to play at the same exact time. So the first one is set to play on click, and that's fine, or on tap. But the second one, I will go into the animate, and then hit my start movie and switch to the Options tab. And instead of starting that build on the tap, we'll start it with the previous build. And from here, I can just go to the next one and do the same thing for the Options. Start it with the previous build. And the fourth one for the Options, start with. And now they should all begin with that first one, um, theoretically. Um, you might want to turn down the volume, but I have noticed that there, even if there's a little bit of delay, it kind of adds an echoey quality to the audio and it makes it feel more hologramish. We do have to hit the done in the upper right hand corner to get out of animation um, settings here. And now we can just hit play. And if I tap once, it should start all four videos. There we go. So now all that's left is to place my hologram projector in that middle square there on my iPad screen test it out and see if I need to make any adjustments. That's all it takes to build a hologram video with Keynote.